as we will get to it. Pool A action, second session. Kyle Montgomery, aka The Voice, I'm with you. Don't worry about it. There's Anya Fuchs Robertson who gets it over to Koizar, but there's a foul off the ball. Official Marcos Michaelides and Glenn to it. They will referee this contest in front of us right now. Sagara, good look to the cutting Koisar. But some nice defense from Lays. Really like what I saw from Lays uh, in their final final game uh, the day before yesterday. Today's, I think, Thursday. So that would have been Tuesday. Yes. She was a walking bucket. Luana, uh, not so much on that release, at least. Koizar with the drive. Nice setup to Fuchs Robotin. No. Oh, De Silva. She's out of there. Uh huh. And she's dropping dimes. And some loose change sets up the score for Brazil. The fader. Uh uh, ma'am. Touches nothing but glass. Lays, up fake, swings it. Luana, nice jab step to get some space. But she comes up abbreviated as that one will trickle out of bounds. We'll take another look at the nice find right there. Dana's able to score it easily. That's what penetration brings you when you got a nice guard with some good vision. Newman, ooh, couldn't clean up the mess, so it'll stay with the Brazilians. Luana. She decides better of it. They want to get it swung over to Lays. Let her operate. Back over to Luana. She splits the defense, elevates, and she got the magic touch. Trickles in for her. And this crowd, at least early, has quieted down just a bit as Fuchs Robotin will draw the foul on the shot. So Fuchs Robotin will get a free throw attempt here. Putting the pressure on De Silva. In the post, and there you go. So your 17 seed, Austria, are finally on the board. Luana, she's gotten to her spot. We saw her get the runner uh, that previous possession. Got to be careful not to force the shots, though. Make the game easy. Sagader, the fade is not exactly working as of yet. Newman with a good seal. So a 2-1 game. So we just get this one uh, going, just scratching the surface. Three fouls on Brazil, too, by the way. It's Koizar. Oh, she's wet. H2O. And it's 2-2. Lays. Laces. Nothing but you know what from the top of the key. I told you. She got game like Jesus Shuttlesworth. Look at Lays off in the deep end. Faina. Like the effort that I'm seeing. Brazil care nothing of all these Austrian fans in the crowd. They would love nothing more than to shut them up <laughs> with a win here. <laughs> As, oh, Koizer, she won't get that uh, jumper to count because an offensive foul is whistled on Austria. Happens to be their first foul of the game. So here come the Brazilians. Lays misses the layup. Dana, though, I got your back, sis. She's able to clean up that mess, no problem. Saga are turning the corner. And a foul call. Luana, a little bit too overzealous in her defensive attack. And it's got to be difficult for Brazil playing in, in this type of environment knowing that pretty much all 3,000 in the stands are against you. And they're gonna let their team hear it every time that round thing goes in the round thing. So almost three minutes in, 
And Sagader finally, finally gets one of those fadeaways to go down. And maybe that uh, lights a fire underneath her. Koisa patiently waiting for Sagler to come get the cookie. She's got it. She will swing it out. Deuces are wild. That jumper is pure as primary colors. 5-5. Five, five. Lays over to Sasa. Oh, these goals ain't loyal. Halfway down and out. Looked good, but it wasn't good. Koisa. She'll turn around and give it to Newman. Newman. Oh, she's got a good look. But another one that was, again, halfway down and then spit out. Oh, Vanessa. She's like, yep, good call. Apparently she got hacked on the wrist. And a, a warning, actually, for Austria for complaining about the call with the, the official. We call him the general for a reason. Glenn Tewitt, he ain't having it. Neither is Marcos Micheletti. I still need to get a nickname for him. Michelangelo? I don't know. Y'all hit me up. Let me know. I'm a one-man team right now. So hit me up at 3x3, the voice. Only after you follow the official account, though. That's the deal, right? We got a rapport, y'all my people. Follow us at FIBA3x3, use the hashtag 3x3WC. Please, if you will. Anytime, I don't think Sasa said excuse me. She's gonna get the bucket. She's a rude gal. Anytime, nobody home for Koisa. And she gets on the baseline and gets busy with it. Thana, oh nice. He's great on the cut, like a Band-Aid. 7-6. Deep attempt, no. Six thirteen to play in this one. And we find ourselves in another tight game. Just finished up a close one with the Netherlands in Spain, although the Netherlands did pull away by six and get that win. Sasa, no. So usually Sasa is going to do most of her damage on the interior. I've seen her be the most dominant player on the court in Miami at the America. But she was doing most of her work again on the inside. Austria, they want to even the score, and they do. Lays, drives, drops it off to Thana. I think Brazil can get that all day long. They are working that pick and roll. Five fouls on Brazil, by the way. Only one to give. Austria with just a trio of fouls attributed to them. Sasa's going to start it just outside the elbow. Luana. A wide open Sasa breakdown defensively for Austria. And a little bit disjointed offensively. But Fuchs Robinson, what a seal. Great entry pass. That is how you get it done. And then Fuchs Robinson gets a hand on it, but Sasa touched it last. Probably should have got that last pedicure. If those nails were just a little bit shorter, it'd be Brazil ball, but that's not the case, is it? Walk over to the Austrians. Newman to Sagara. Sagara. Three seconds back to the bucket. And she's saying, what's that? Well, I'm glad you asked, Sarah. That's when you initiate a dribble with a defender behind you. And you take more than three seconds to shoot a pass. Dana wastes no time pulling the trigger. She probably should have thought about that a little longer. As it will fly out of bounds, she says, my bad. So Brazil will try to defend this one-point lead. That one lofted. Oh, Fuchs Robinson. She got her cookies took. 
Look at the intensity in Sasa's eyes. She wants to rock, and she has hacked hard. So Vanessa Gonzalez will now take a trip up to the free throw line. Gonzalez ranked number one in Brazil. And 28-year-old gets the free throw to drop in. Oh, nice score. Sagara. She is tough. Oh, Lace. Maybe a little bit out of her range. But look at Sagara. Bumping her way to the bucket. Scoring through contact. You got to do a little bit of that in 3x3. Those are always nice, too. Easy breezy. Uncontested, clean lay, and we are looking at a 10-10 tie. 4-12 to go, up fake. Luana, oh, no. Gets it back, though, as Brazil will keep it moving. Thana, uh-uh. We don't want you here, fam. Saga Serra sinks it. <laughs> 12 11. Yeah, I know I said her name wrong. Camila Newman gets the two, man. It's a 14 11 contest. Luana, two, two toes behind the line. That would have counted. And what a hustle. Fuchs Robinson, and this crowd is getting in it, ladies and gentlemen. Austria have stormed out front by three. Look at Sarah Sagara. She be stroking. So it took, a, took her a little bit of time to get going. She missed her first early three attempts on fadeaways. Uh, but she's alive and well now, that is for sure. Seeing some good action from the Austrians as we bring you this action from Rauthausplatz Square here in Vienna, Austria. Side of this 2023 World Cup. Eighth edition of our showpiece event. We are loving it. The players are balling. Capacity crowds each and every day. 3,000 seats, but we get nearly 15,000 spectators throughout the day. So a lot of love here for 3X3, and we love it. Three minutes to go. Sasa's pass to Thayna. It's a no, but Vanessa, she stays with it. Oh, Camila Newman, she's in her groove right now. Using that great touch on the run, scoring it off the window. Dana, that will count plus the foul. And Brazil ain't going nowhere like your, your parents-in-laws. <laughs> He's like, please, I love y'all, but y'all got to go. Dana, she'll get this one down to a one-point game. And now it's Sagara. She's got a, uh, obviously a big advantage right there. Lays, lays a hand on Sagara, and she gets whistled for it. So Sarah Sagara, 27 years old. 11 international caps to her name. It's appeared on the Women's Series 16 times. And nearly every time you see her, she's just getting better and better and better. She betters Austria's score to a two-point advantage, but, man, Thana's got the power of Thanos. Jesus. She is dominating on the interior. Newman doesn't get lucky that time. Lays will move it right to left, left to right. 
Newman in defense, lays in and out, lets it fly, misses everything. Two minutes to go, pool A, game number six. Here we go. Two one and one teams. And that one's tied up as good as a steal. You want to force a jump ball, because it will get you possession. Luana, patient. They got three seconds to shoot, though. They got to get it up now. Sasa, she senses it. Does not get a whistle. No need in complaining. Better D up as Fuchs Roberton will track it down. Newman, she chucks the deuces. And that touches nothing but the breeze. Luana with the step, and she says, step off. Step off. You in my backyard. Sagater. Got a hand on it. Uh, actually, well, a whistle. I thought it was just a, I thought it was a ball initially. This crowd is loud. Actually called for the foul there. So don't get too excited if you're an Austrian fan. That will put Luana on the line. And there they go. Here they go. Brazil is even things up. Kreutzer's been well, relatively quiet in this one. She started off well, but they turned it over to Sagler. Sagler, why you got to cross her like that? Uh. Luana, no. Way short. 57 ticks left. Oh, look at the crossover. It was like she was stuck in quicksand. Reaching out for help. Sagaro all will miss it. And the crowd is obviously wanting to foul in that scenario. But well, they're gonna let him play right now. Lays, lofts it in. That ball is deflected. And that will leave point seven on the clock for Brazil. But I do think official Marcos wants to go and take a closer look at it at the scores table. Oh, wait, actually, it's, it's not a bounce challenge. Challenge is requested. So that's why we will take a closer look at this. And better safe than sorry. And you be the judge as we give you a the best look that we can. Uh -oh. We're still working things out. So I'm at, I'm at the half court line. That's not my best, I don't have the best angle to make a, ju a judgment on that, but. Now, okay, oh yeah, that went off of Thana. It went right off her armpit. So. This should be Austria ball. When the game is full speed, it's so hard to, to really be able, be able to determine just those slight grazes of the ball against a, a body part that you can't really see so well. And that's why we have the instant replay system to make sure the calls are the right ones here late, especially on a critical day as it is today. The first day that we're seeing the entries into our elimination round, so the two and three seeds will play and play in games the pools will cross a and c b and d your top seed is a direct spot in the quarterfinals so that's the most coveted position in the group so once again congratulations to the canadian women who got that spot in pool c and the polish men again who got the spot for the men in Pool C. 
So they get an extended look at this. What's up, Radu? Big decision, and our officials are back on the court. And that's exactly the call they made. Great call. As uh, official Marcos Micheletis, a challenge is won. So smart challenge by the Austrians. So here we go, 17-16. Fuchs Robiton. Foxes are always tricky. She comes away clean, and Austria not quite done. Yet, they went, they lead by two, make that one. 20 ticks to go. As Brazil will need a strong defensive effort right here to slow him down. Koiser making a move on Sasa. Koiser making a move around Sasa. That is what you call window pane. Off the glass and in, and that will very likely secure it. Why is Brazil trying to score one here? They need two. They didn't hear Jay-Z's lyrics. One ain't enough, you need two. 1918, Austria, win it. What an effort. What an effort in front of this home crowd. It was always gonna be tough going up against Brazil, but I'm not sure what the strategy was on that final possession. Uh, they go in for a one-point score. Maybe they didn't know how much.